All right, so hello again, kids, and welcome back to our online class. And for today's video, we will learn about combined operations, okay? about addition and subtraction. All right, so let's start. Example number one. Okay, so we have given here a okay, open parenthesis. 124 plus 17, a closed parenthesis, minus 29 is equal to. All right, so we are going to find out. All right, okay. Okay, so as you noticed in our example, there is, what you call this one? Okay, so a parenthesis, so this two number is separated with a parenthesis. Okay, so this example is a combined operation of addition and subtraction. Okay, addition and subtractions. All right, so what have we noticed in our example? There, this one, right? There's an open and closed parenthesis. Okay, so how are we going to solve this example? Okay, but first, always remember, we have to do first what's inside the parenthesis or brackets. We have to do first what's inside parenthesis or brackets okay so let's solve all right so again we are going to do this one first because they are inside our parenthesis so we are going to do that first okay so this one is addition okay you still remember our addition uh -huh. Okay, so let's arrange them according to their places of value. Okay, so let's arrange one, two hundreds, okay, two tens, and ones in, all right, and also 17. Okay, so let's add this one. So first we are going to add the Okay, so 4 plus 7, that is equal to 11. Okay, so 11. Now, two digits, right? We're going to do bring down 1 and we carry 1. We add 1 to the tens place. Okay, so we regroup them. All right. So next is we are going to add our tens. Okay, so this one. All right. So we have 1 plus 2 plus 1. That is equal to 4. Okay, very good. And now, we are going to add our hundreds. Okay, since that is a 1, so we just bring down 1. Okay, so we answer now 124 plus 17. That is equal to 141. Okay, so, okay, so let's continue. Okay, so next, all right, so next, we are going to minus 29. Okay, so let's put 29 in our place value. We have 2 to 10, 9 ones. Okay, so let's subtract them. Subtract the ones. 1 minus 9 cannot. Okay, so cannot. So what are we going to do? We will borrow from the tens. And 4, that will become 3. Okay. And we will add the tens to the ones. Okay. So this one will become 11. Okay. So we can subtract now. 11 minus 9. That is equal to? Two. Okay, so next we will add 
the tens. Okay, we will add the tens. We have 3 minus 2, that is equal to okay, 1. Very good. 1. Alright, so 1. Okay, so let's bring down 1. Alright, so our answer is 112. Okay. okay, or you can do like this, okay. add first, then subtract, okay. is equal to 112, okay, so therefore, uh, open parenthesis 124 plus 17, okay, close parenthesis, minus 29 is equal to 112. Okay. All right, so let's continue. Okay, next example two. Okay, we have given here 307 minus 124 plus 25. Okay, so let's find the answer. Okay, so again, always do what's inside the parentheses. Okay, so let's do this one first, okay, that is 307 minus 124. Okay, so let's write subtraction. So let's subtract 7 minus 4, that is equal to 3. Okay, very good. And 0 minus 2, cannot. Okay, very good. We cannot subtract them. So what are we going to do? We row from the hundreds and three will become two and zero will become ten okay so this time ten minus two okay we can subtract them so ten minus two that is equal to eight very good okay so next we have two minus one of course is equal to Okay, so we have the answer from this okay, 307 minus 124 is equal to 183. Okay, now let's add 25. Okay, so let's add 25. Okay, so we have 3 plus 5 that is equal to 8. 8 plus 2 that is equal to equal to 10 okay so let's bring down zero and carry one on the hundred place okay so we have one and one okay, one plus one is equal to two okay so therefore 307 minus 124 plus 25 is equal to 208. Okay. All right. So, example number three. Example number three, we have here 687 minus 128 plus 264. Okay. So, let's find the answer. All right. So, again, again, and again, always to what's inside the parentheses first. Okay, so let's do this one. Okay, that is 687 minus 128. Okay, so let's subtract 7 and 8. Can we? No, we can. We can subtract them. So what are we going to do? Very good. We will borrow, okay, we will borrow tens, okay, and that will become seven, and our seven, our seven will become 17. Okay, so we can now subtract 17 and 8. Okay, so 17 minus 8 is equal to 9. Very good. All right. So next is we subtract the tens. Okay, so we have here 7 minus 2, that is equal to, very good, 5. 
Okay, so next, 6 minus 1 is equal to 5. Okay, so we have 687 minus 128 is equal to 559. Okay, so let's add 264. Okay, so let's add them. All right, so let's, okay, let's add it once. 9 plus 4, that is equal to 13. Okay, let's okay, bring down 3 and carry 1. Okay, so let's add our 10. So we have 1 plus 5 plus 6 is equal to, very good, 12. Okay, 12. So let's bring down 2 and carry 1, the next place. So we have our hundreds. We have one plus five plus two is equal to eight. Okay, very good. So for six hundred and eighty seven minus one hundred and twenty eight plus two hundred and sixty four is equal to eight hundred and twenty three. Okay, very good. Okay, next example. All right, how about this one? Okay, so we have 174 plus 323 minus 215. Okay, so again, do first what's inside the parentheses. Okay, so let's add them. Okay, let's add them. 174 plus 323. Okay, so let's add the ones. We have 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. And the tens, 7 plus 2 is equal to 9. And the hundreds, 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. Okay, so next is we're going to subtract 215. So 7 minus 5, that is equal to? Okay, that is equal to 2. Okay, so next, 9 minus 1, 8. 4 minus 2 is? Okay, very good. So therefore, 174 plus 323 minus 215 is equal to 282. Okay, do you understand? Okay, very good. All right, so let's proceed to our example. Okay, how about this one? Kids, can you answer this one? Okay. Let's answer this one. Try to answer it in your notebook. Okay. Okay. Okay, or you can post my video while you answer this one. All right. Okay, so again, always remember you have to do First, what's inside our parentheses? Okay, what's inside in our parentheses? Okay. All right, so you have your answer now. Okay, very good. So, what is your answer? Okay, very good. So, we have 300 and 67. Okay, good job. Good job. How about that one?
second time. Again, do first what's inside in our parentheses. Okay, you have your answer now? All right, so let's check. Okay, very good. So the answer is 335. Okay. Again, always remember we have to do first the number that are inside in our parentheses. Okay, all right. So, practice time! Okay, practice time. All right, so let's check if you really understand teacher Christina. Please get your workbook and open it on page 19 to 20 and answer 1 to 15. Okay, okay so I hope you've learned something new again for this video and see you kids next time goodbye